Hey friends, it's essentially Jessie. So glad that you guys are here today. Today I'm doing a much wanted, requested, I don't know, uh, video. This is my updated top 10 for life. This is my designer edition. I will be releasing a niche edition, but as time goes on, our noses change, things change. I get new fragrances. I declutter old fragrances. I'm starting to do more declutter videos. I think I did one in uh, December and one in January. So anyway, you can check those out if that is your thing. I think that that is a lot of people's thing. Anyway, I'm excited to get to my top 10 designer fragrances for life. So let's get to it. All right. Um, as always, drop me a comment below. What's your like top designer fragrance for life? Like you have one fragrance that you're like, and this is my designer holy grail. I wear it every day or I'll never be without it in my collection. These are 10 fragrances that over the past probably 12 months, I don't know when the last time I, I did like a top 10 for life, but anyway, um, just some of my preferences have changed and honestly, I've got an older fra or a fragrance that I've had longer in here that has not made my top 10 for life before. So one that I have had and just am like re-enjoying, loving, honestly. So anyway, okay, first up, uh, what do we want to start with? Okay, we'll start with Tom Ford White Suede. I have worn this like twice this week already. I love this fragrance. I love everything about it. Um, as you can see, I'm like halfway through. I got the big bottle. I just, I mean, I would wear this every day. Like if I, if like I only had one fragrance for the rest of my life, I would totally wear White Suede every day. I love it, love it, love it. It's different. If you haven't smelled it, you need to get your nose on it. It's a really clean fragrance. It's different. Um, it's kind of like, what's another clean fragrance? Like Pure Grace by Philosophy, but much more sophisticated. So anyway, Tom Ford White Suede, one of my favorites, like an oldie but a goodie. This has been in my collection for mm, a couple of years, I think. Anyway, okay, one that is newer to my collection that I'm just having like a long-term moment with is Spiritus Dublo Vini by Guerlain. So I'm not doing these in like 10 down to one. I mean, these are like out of my hundreds of fragrances. Don't tell anybody, please. Um, these are my top 10. So I'm like, I couldn't really number them down. I mean, um, these are all just amazing, but this is Guerlain Spiritus Dublo Vini. A very interesting, a little bit spicy um, vanilla fragrance. I have made like a sultry fragrances video. I made a like spicy vanilla video back in the fall. Um, this made at least one, if not both of those. Like this is just date night in the bottle. Really, seriously, so good. Guerlain's Spiritus Dubla Vanille. All right, next up, another one that you may have thought that I would put its partner Verit Malachite in this video, but I actually chose um, Rouge Malachite. So I battled these out. You'll have to check out the video to see which one won, but I've kind of had different moments with these and love them both. I feel like if you like one, you will at least like the other one, um, but this is a little bit spicier. And maybe just because it's winter like and it's cooler, I'm really loving this, but I have um, I have a backup bottle of both of these, like, and I think those are the only two fragrances in my collection I have backup bottles of because I was afraid they were going to get discontinued. The website sometimes says they're discontinued and they're out and then sometimes they'll be back. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing, but Rouge Malachite by, this is by, um, Armani Privé, Giorgio Armani Privé, and I just am in love. It's beautiful, spicy, floral, so good. Okay. Moving on another one that I love you guys know that I love this one. I picked this up I was late to the game. It's been discontinued pick it up on a discount website before they are forever gone I really probably need to up like and get the bigger bottle since I do know that it is discontinued This is Giorgio Armani's C Fiori. It's in the like light pink bottle. It is a beautiful floral fragrance I mean, this would be like wedding day date night every day. You could wear this until forever. Um, it's just one of those timeless fragrances. And I don't mean timeless as in like has old vibes, you know, like some people say fragrances are timeless and I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to smell like what my grandma smelled like 50 years ago. So this is like a updated new version of timeless fragrance, if that makes sense. So that's Sea Fiori by Giorgio Armani. Okay. Four down, six to go. Okay. What's next? 
I will pick this one. This is Erin. This is Mediterranean, um, almost said hibiscus. This is Mediterranean honeysuckle. This is another great, just fresh, clean fragrance. It's got the honeysuckle. It's got some more florals in it. It's beautiful. It's a little bit sweet, not too sweet. I love the packaging on these, like the rocks on top of them. They're just so pretty. Um, but Erin Mediterranean honeysuckle, I am here for this. And Honestly, this is more of a summer fragrance for me, but I have been wearing it here and there. It's also a really great fragrance to spray on when you first get out of the shower. Just fresh, clean fragrance. You're like, I don't know what I want to wear today, so I'm going to wear this and then come back later with something maybe heavier. And it's easy kind of to layer this on first and then layer something over it in 30 minutes to an hour. So that's Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle. All right. I was about to say top five, but this isn't... <laughs> I already said I'm not, I'm not, um, like numbering them down. So anyway, by the fireplace, by replica, if you watch my channel, you know, we're having a moment like me and these two, like these are my boos for winter. Um, so good. It's spicy. Okay. This is one of those fragrances. You spray it, you smell it, you walk away for 20 minutes, then you come back and smell it again and see if you really like it. Because the very first time I smelled by the fireplace, I was like, I don't know and I left the store and then next time I went back I smelled it again I was like eh, maybe so I got a travel atomizers went through two of those and now I have a full bottle so by the fireplace by replica so good another one that you guys know that I love this is Valentino Donna born in Roma yellow dream longest name ever um this is the yellow one it's got the gold juice it's got lemon right off the top and rose and musk very straightforward fragrance but one that i do not want to not have in my collection i want to have this in my collection forever it's super easy i can put it on anytime day or night like to work date night i mean it's not a heavy fragrance it's really light if you're a nurse or a teacher or someone who can't wear a lot of heavy fragrances check out donna born in roma yellow dream by uh, valentino and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised it's just a great like dumb reach easy fragrance love it another one that i am really loving right now is launter d rouge by givenchy this is the one in the red bottle and i love this fragrance because it's it's like a spicy floral like i feel like these two do not smell the same but if you like one you would probably like the other this is the armani Privé uh, rouge malachite so launter d rouge is like a spicy a little bit spicy uh vanilla with some florals it's beautiful it really is beautiful i got the um i didn't get like the huge bottle but i kind of wish i had because i love this fragrance i go in crazy with this fragrance it is long lasting too which is amazing for a designer fragrance okay you guys i accidentally not on purpose put two tom fords on this list but i couldn't i couldn't just pick one so tom ford ombre leather i've loved this for a long time like we we've we've loved each other for a long time i think i recently put this in another video anyway it's just one of those fragrances that just keeps coming back and i wear it and i love it and ombre leather is just it's my jam so this smells like a really like the interior of a really expensive car it, like leather um it's so pretty it's so sophisticated there's florals that come out there's vanilla that comes out in the dry down anyway it's a beautiful fragrance if you haven't tried ombre leather again this is one of those fragrances that you spray it you walk away for 20 minutes and then you smell it again and see like what you think because the dry down is magical all right, and my last one, but kind of my most surprising one that I kind of added to this list for, I guess this is my 2023, like top 10 designer fragrances for life. Um, it's actually one that I've had in my collection for longer than all of these. And it's a fragrance that I've kind of circled back to. Um, let me know in the comment section if there's a fragrance that you like used to wear and now you're circling back to it. I mean, there's a lot of them that I would be like, eh, no, like, um, cool water. I wore a fair wine princess for a while. So there's a uh, Britney Spears. Oh, the one in the pink bottle, uh, fantasy. Anyway, I love all those. We had our moment, but the moment is gone. Um, but this one, we're, we're circling back around. So this is a flower bomb nectar. So this is not the original flower bomb. It's one of the flankers. This is nectar. I've probably had this bottle for three years, maybe longer. And I love it. Like I actually made it my scent of the day today because 
I really love this fragrance. It's pretty, it's um, soft, but it's more powerful than, I feel like the original Flower Bomb kind of fades away on me, and it may just be my skin chemistry, but this is amazing. It lasts all day. Um, I'll go in with three to four sprays, and I'm not like killing people around me, but everybody can smell me, so I just, I have a real like comfortable relationship with Flower Bomb Nectar. <laughs> Anyway, we, we vibe together, I guess. Anyway, so this is my new updated top 10 for life. Now, I am certainly not hating on any of my old top 10 for life videos. You can go check those out. Like I said, I'll be making a niche edition soon. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your scent of the day. Are there any um, fragrances that you think I should include in my niche edition? Let me know. And just to note, the designer fragrances, I mean, some of them are more expensive, like Replica, Tom Ford, Guerlain. This is the Guerlain, like their more elevated line. So I would say these three fragrances plus the Tom Ford are going to be in the upper price ranges. I would think most of these other ones you could probably find on a discount website. I think I picked up C Fiori for like 30, 40 bucks maybe. Um, this is not the huge bottle, but it's plenty big enough. I think this is 1.7 ounces. Anyway, um, I know that you can get this one on discount website. So be sure to like price shop because you can smell great with like little to no like don't go pay full price make sure you check out your like other options fragrance net fragrance x all those so yeah i just want to let you guys know you don't have to spend like 300 dollars to smell fabulous these are some great options that are certainly more affordable thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to click subscribe and also the notification bell smell you later